again welcome back to my channel welcome to today's tutorial in this video we are going to crochet this cute granny square pattern it's so beautiful and it's very easy to make so let's get into the tutorial I'm going to be using a size 3 millimeter crochet hook for this tutorial You make a magic ring and you're going to chain one now you work two more chains so you have a chain of three two three your chain three counts as your first double crochet so work two double crochet. You have two double crochet and three double crochet. You chain three and you work three double crochet. And you're going to chain three. And you work three double crochet. Chain three and you work three double crochet. So you have one, two, three, and four. So you're going to pull and tighten your ring. And you chain three. And to end your round one, you're going to work a slip stitch on top of your chain three. And chain one. And you're going to cut your yarn to begin your round two you're going to take your next color you work a slip knot And you're going to start working on top of your double crochet stitch you work a single crochet and chain two this stitch count as your first double crochet in your chain three space you're going to work two double crochet and chain three and you work two double crochet and next you're going to continue working one double crochet in each stitch you work one double crochet one double crochet in each of your double crochet stitch and one double crochet when you get to your chain two space you're going to work two double crochet chain three and you work two double crochet then you're going to continue working one double crochet on each of your double crochet stitch
to double crochet chain three and you work two double crochet and you continue working one double crochet on each of your double crochet stitch and we are almost at the end work one double crochet and one double crochet and to end your round two you're going to leave it till and cut your yarn you pull your working yarn up and you're going to use your yarn needle to close So you're going to continue working and for your round three you're going to take your next color your round three is going to be a repeat of your round two and your round four is also going to be a repeat of your round two with your next with your next color as well so you're going to go ahead and work round three and round four and i'll meet you here once you've worked your round three and your round four once you've worked your four rounds so you have one, two, three, four. This is how your work is going to look like. Next, you're going to take your next color. You work a slip knot. And you're going to count one, two, three, four. And you start working. going to work a single crochet and chain two you work one double crochet you work one double crochet and now you're going to chain two one two and you're going to skip one two stitches and you're going to work two double crochet in your chain in your chain space and chain three and you work two double crochet you chain two one two and you're going to skip two stitches one two and you're going to work 11 double crochet in the next 11 stitches so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so you have eleven double crochet now you're going to chain two one two and you're going to skip one two stitches and you're going to work two double crochet and chain three for your corner space and you work two double crochet and you're going to chain two one two you skip two stitches one two and 
we're going to work 11 double crochet in the next 11 stitches and you're going to repeat the pattern to the end so we are almost at the end of our round five so you're going to work your last double crochet stitch and when you count you should have 11 stitches on this side as well so you're going to leave it till and cut your yarn and then you close your round five next you're going to take your next color and begin your round six for your round six you're supposed to have seven double crochet on top of this your 11 double crochet so you're going to count one two three four You work a single crochet and you're going to chain two and you work one double crochet so you have two double crochet you're going to chain two and you're going to skip one two stitches in your chain two space you're going to work two double crochet and next you work one double crochet and this is your two double crochet at the corner work one double crochet there when you get to your corner you work two double crochet and you chain three and you work two double crochet one double crochet you work one double crochet And this is your two double crochet stitches at the corner. When you get to your chain two space, you work two double crochet. And you're going to chain two. And you're going to skip one, two stitches, and you work seven double crochet in the next seven stitches. So we have one, two, three four five Let me take this one. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven double crochet. So you're going to chain two, one two and you're going to skip one two stitches in your chain two space you work two double crochet and one double crochet one double crochet and two double crochet in your chain two space and chain three and you work two double crochet and 
now one double crochet and one double crochet on this your two double crochet in your chain two space two double crochet and you're going to chain two and you skip one two stitches and you're going to work seven double crochet in the next seven stitches one two two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven double crochet and you're going to chain two and you skip one two stitches in your chain two space you're going to work two double crochet So you're going to repeat the pattern till the end next you're going to take your next color for your round seven and for your round seven you are supposed to have three double crochet on top of this your seven double crochet so you're going to take your next color yarn and you're going to count one two three and you're going to work a single crochet and chain two and you work one double crochet in your next stitch And you're going to chain two and you skip one two stitches you work one you work two double crochet and you continue working one double crochet in each stitch one double crochet One double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet. When you get to your chain three space, you're going to work two double crochet. Chain three and you work two double crochet. And you continue working one double crochet in each stitch. One double crochet, one double crochet. And when you get to your chain two space, you're going to work one double crochet, two double crochet. So you work two double crochet in your chain two space, and you're going to chain two. You skip one, two stitches, and you work three double crochet in the next three stitches. That is one and two and three and you're going to chain two you skip one two and you're going to work two double crochet in your chain two space and you're going to continue working one double crochet in each stitch 
and you're going to repeat the pattern round we are almost at the end of our round seven so you work your two double crochet in your chain two space and you're going to chain two and you're going to skip one two stitches and you're going to work one double crochet in the next stitch so with your first two double crochet you have three double crochet and you're going to leave it till and you cut your yarn and then you end your round so when you're done and you're going to begin your round eight for your round eight you're not going to have any stitch on top of your three double crochet here so you, you take your next color yarn and you're going to begin working from the stitches can you attach it on any stitch You work a single crochet and you're going to chain two and you work one double crochet one double crochet in the next stitch and when you get to your chain three space you're going to work two double crochet and chain three you work two double crochet then you continue working one double crochet in each stitch one double crochet one double crochet in each stitch one double crochet and when you get to your chain two space you're going to work two double crochet And you're going to chain two and you're going to skip this three this three these three stitches you're going to skip this three double crochet but that's three stitches and you're going to come to the next chain two space and you're going to work two double crochet there and you're going to continue working one double crochet in each stitch and you're going to follow this pattern round when you're done with your round eight your round nine you're going to work two double crochet in this your chain two spaces and one double crochet in each stitch in each of your double crochet stitch and when you get to your chain two you work two double crochet chain three two double crochet So you can reattach your yarn on any stitch you work a single crochet and you're going to chain two and from around nine I'm using the color I use for my round two. So you work one double crochet, one double crochet. When you get to your chain two space, you're going to work two double crochet there. And now you're going to continue working one double crochet in each stitch 
and you're going to repeat this pattern round and when you get to the end you're going to end your work the same way and this is how your granny square is going to look so beautiful and it's very easy to make so this is it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye